The universe manifested, hand delivered a W to me, and I still fumbled the bag, right? So we leave hats in our hands, absolutely devastated. And I mean, to this day, I've still never seen a deal like that before. But we had learned that we needed to get serious. We needed to level, we needed to level up. Our humble Google spreadsheets needed an upgrade. So we get back home, the plan is such. I would run dispatch because, again, useless. And my girlfriend would run out to all these stores doing research for us, doing what we intended to do going into this day, right? So to recap, there's a traveling woman going on sales, and we want to optimize for the number of locations that she can visit. Is this starting to sound like a familiar problem to anyone? OK, I see a couple of people nodding. Yes, if this sounds like a traveling salesman problem variant, it is. So the TSP likely needs no introduction, but let's do one anyways. So say, um, oh, this is what I was feeling like internally when somebody bought that washing machine out from under us. So um, yes, the TSP. So let's say hypothetically you want to visit every instance of a major household corporation, corporate juggernaut um, in the commercial retailer space, right? Uh, so you want to go to every Radio Shack in the US. And you want to start in the metropolis of, and so you want to go to all of these locations, right? But you're tight on time, you're tight on gas money, so you want to make your trip as optimal as possible, right? You want to spend as least amount of time on the road and as much time in shacks as you can, right? So this is like the word problem form of the traveling salesman problem, right? There's a bunch of different ways you can get to all of these shacks, but there's one optimal route that requires the least amount of time on the road for you. So let's take this word problem and move it into a problem definition, right? Because we need to mutate it a bit. So we're going to have two shacks here, shack A and shack B. And I've asterisk shack B just to indicate that we're going to start there. So these are going to be nodes on our graph. We're going to be talking about a graph problem. This should be our first tip. Um, these graphs are going to have edges between them or the roads that will connect them, right? A common assumption when talking about the TSP, especially in academics, is that you also make a third assumption, right? You're going to make the symmetric assumption and that uh, your edge X is going to equal your edge Y. So you're going to have a symmetric graph. Now you're also going to assume a complete graph, right? So let's throw a wild card in. Let's throw in a shirt third shack, right? So now you're going to have all of these different tools right all of these possible ways that you could commute between your various shacks right you're gonna have all of these tours but there's only one that you want to choose so this tips us off that it's an optimization problem so it's extremely clear that this is the tour that we're going to choose right uh, since it's the shortest one 